Since we still have nothing to do in quarantine, we've got more debates about who would win in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. For Julian Newman, he thinks he'd demolish LaMelo. What's up, you guys? It's Devin Howard. If you want to stay up to date with me, find me on Instagram. I'm there as at Devin Howard. Double check that you've subscribed to the Fumble and tap the bell so you're always in the know whenever we post a new video. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. There's something about self-isolation in the middle of a pandemic that causes sports fans to love to talk about who's the GOAT, who are the top five all-time greats, and who would win in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. If you've been watching our live show every day, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, for those of you who have been missing out, you know that we are growing seriously tired of all of this hypothetical talk. But it's still happening, so I feel like it's my duty to fill you in on the latest information. So Julian Newman thinks that he would beat LaMelo Ball in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. But more than that, he said, quote, I'm winning 11 to eight. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, the Newmans are like the next balls. Both Julian and his sister have over 700,000 followers on Instagram. He has 74 videos on YouTube with more than a million views each. And then there's their dad, Jamie Newman, who like LeVar seems to love a microphone. In the past, he's said things like, nobody in the world has the skills that Julian has, not in the NBA, not in college, not anywhere, not anybody. They also have an internet reality series called Hello Newmans, and I hope you guys get that Seinfeld reference. There's no denying that Julian is an insane basketball player, but people didn't love his overconfident statement about beating LaMelo. They said things like, Julian Newman is the most overrated basketball player I have ever seen, man's gonna dribble for two hours to get blocked, and my personal fave, LaMelo will literally shoot over him. I respect the confidence, but let's be realistic. I got suitcases taller than him. So if you haven't picked it up by now, the Newmans and the Balls are clear rivals. So I'm turning it over to you, Fumble fans. Who do you think would win in a game of one-on-one? -on -one? I've got my money on LaMelo. I also have an update for you regarding LaMelo's plan to purchase the Illawarra Hawks. Apparently the deal's almost done. The Illawarra Mercury reported that the deal between the franchise and their former star is quote imminent. If everything gets finalized, that would be such a power move for LaMelo. Okay, you guys, I want you to weigh in on this Julian LaMelo news. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fumble, tap the bell for notifications, and hit that thumbs up. I'm Devin Howard, and I'll see you later.